Hi guys, I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. It's end of December, so I have my December hits and misses video for you guys. I didn't upload a November hits and misses video last month, but I did post up an Instagram picture as well as a Google Plus post on my blog as well. Uh, a photo of a bunch of products that I was really liking in November. So I will be mentioning a few of those products in this video, but I'm gonna start off with a bunch of new products that I've been trying out in December. So here is a Sephora favorites product that I got over a month and a half ago but I just opened it about two weeks ago and this is the Sephora favorites give me more lip lip sampler product and if you open it up you have 17 different lip products ranging from lipsticks to lip balm, lip gloss, liquid lipsticks, lip tart, all kinds of lip products. I didn't get to try out everything in this uh, kit. I've only been trying out three of the products that came in this kit, but I'm mentioning this product as one of my favorite for the past month just because of value. So this is 59 US dollars and you get 17 products from brands like Bare Minerals, By Beauty, Hourglass, Makeup Forever, Laura Mercier, um, Kat Von D, Tarte, Too Faced, and a few other ones. So when you calculate everything out, you're paying about $3.50 per product. And given uh, in Canada and other countries that Sephora ships out to, um, the actual price may be a little different. But regardless, this is a great value. And for me, uh, when I was younger, I used to really finish a lot of lip products. I used to always back to MAC my MAC lipsticks because I would finish the whole tube, I don't know, in a few months, whatnot. But um, as I'm getting older, I have harder time finishing up products. So I really appreciate a uh, little kit. Like the three that I have been trying are uh, the Too Faced Melted Liquid Longwear Lipstick and the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint and the Sugar Berry Tinted Lip Treatment. And the Melted from Too Faced, I've been wanting to try this for a while. I have to say I'm not super impressed by this product. It's supposed to give you uh, like a lasting power of lip tint and looks like lip gloss, uh, pigmented as lipstick or something like that. And it is a very pigmented and it's a very pretty color. It's called uh, Melted Fuchsia and it's pretty much a very bright fuchsia color with a really strong blue undertone. So when you wear this, it will kind of make your teeth look a little bit whiter. Um, but the reason why I'm not super impressed is that even though it's long lasting, it's only long lasting if you don't talk a lot and if you don't drink or eat anything. It does leave a stain of this color on your lips for a long time, but it just gets messy on your cups and things like that. So yeah, but still I'm glad I got to try this. As for Tarte's Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint, I have few of these products, the full size ones, but this color I'm very happy with. This is called Moody and I have this on my lips. But in here, the color looks really deep. But on my lips, as you can see, it's pretty light. Um, I can build it up and on my lips, I've had this on for about three hours and I put very little on in the middle and I blended it with my fingers. And this Sugar Berry Lip Treatment, um, I do like. Uh, I like the color, it's perfect for uh, right now, but I'm not a big fan of the original sugar lip treatment. I'm just not too impressed with it as I was before because I found other better lip treatment products along the way. But as a lip tint, I do still like Next this. Next kit that I've been trying is this Josie Marin Winter Winter Dreams Argan Color Collection. So it comes with five products. Let me mention that two of the products that this kit came with, uh, the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil Light, as well as the Argan Illuminizer. These have been my favorites from years and years ago. So I'm glad to have these mini size ones that comes in this kit. So I haven't actually tried the ones that came with this kit like this these two, but I can tell you that I like both of them. Um, the Argan Oil, I'm not a big fan of Argan Oil, but I seem to always have some around, so I must like it. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. I do like it for my hair sometimes. Right now, I have a huge bottle of Melvita Argan Oil, and this one is a good plus because I like the lighter texture of this and product. The luminizer, I remember really liking and this. Uh, the Argan Black Oil Mascara, I haven't tried yet. I tried uh, this. Coconut watercolor eyeshadow. 
I really liked it at first, but I find it too bothersome because you have to shake it up and it takes a long time to get the consistency even. So when you're in a rush, this is not a good product to try. And if you put on too much, um, it doesn't look good. And if you have really oily eyelids, it will start to crease right what here. What I really like from this kit is this product right here, Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. So this product, it is a cream form, but as you smooth it on, your skin or your lips it turns into oil and it's very moisturizing and the color is I would say it's just a rosy pink color and if you put it on your cheeks as well as your lips it's not going to be super pigmented you just get this healthy glow on your cheeks and healthy lip color and what I mean by glow is that it's not shimmery at all but it's kind of this glossiness but it's not super glossy either so this is a really good product I feel like all the products that I've been really liking are very winter aimed products even these lip products that I've been trying all three are very moisturizing they're not drying on your lips so great for winter this is the Peter Thomas Roth 24k gold mask magic kit so I got this kit because I wanted this gold mask um, and this gold mask I think in US dollars is 95 but if you buy this kit you just pay four more dollars I think is it 99 or 98 and you get to try a bunch of deluxe sample size products from uh, Peter Thomas Roth so you get all these extra stuff and some of these I have tried before like this one here the anti-aging cleansing gel I've tried and I've mentioned it in my video maybe like a year ago or more. It's got glycolic acid as well as a bunch of fruit extracts and it's a very gentle way to um, exfoliate your skin without using a physical exfoliating scrub. And I've been trying this Peter Thomas Roth Firm Peeling Gel. Um, it visibly rolls and lifts. Okay, so this is one of those products that you put on your face, on your dry skin, and you rub it and you get all these um, it's not really your skin the product actually lifts off your dead skin cells and it just rolls off so when you use this and you're rolling it and you see all these like chunks coming off that doesn't mean that it's all your skin it's just the product and this works a lot better if you put it on and you roll off all those dead skin cells and just leave the product on for five minutes because it has some sort of enzyme ingredient i believe so if you leave it on it will continue to gently uh, exfoliate your skin more evenly so make sure you leave it on for five minutes after you do the rubbing so this is a good product As for this unwrinkled turbo line smoothing toning toning lotion um i've only tried twice i can't say much about it it feels nice it's got a bit of gold and in it. this camu camu power c times 30 um I don't really like it. I don't really like the smell of it and it feels really sticky at first. Um, the stickiness does go away but yeah I'm just I've only tried it once so I'll have to try a few more times. This last one here the Instant Firm XI. I haven't tried it yet because I read up on it and this is a product if you are not going to wear makeup but you want some lifting around your eyes maybe you have bags or crow's feet and wrinkles um, if you want to smooth that just temporarily you could use this but I tend to wear makeup to cover those kind of flaws and if you put makeup or cream or lotion on top of this product um, the effect goes down so I don't know I don't think it's for me but I will try it at least once as for the main product this one I've been using twice a week for the past I would say month and so I've used a lot of it it's got 24k gold in it it says it's a pure luxury lift and fur mask and it's very very hydrating it makes my skin feel super soft and hydrated and that hydrated feeling lasts more than 24 hours I do notice that uh, my skin feels somewhat more firm and lifted but um, it's not a significant difference so maybe I'll use it a little bit longer and get better results and when I do I will do a more detailed review about this so product. those were three of the kits that I got from Sephora but I also got this one this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector press and this uh, it's supposed to be a new product. Maybe it was new a few months ago, but it's no longer new now. Um, I got this because I wanted a highlighter and I have it in the color 
rose gold but this is the wrong color for me this can't be a highlighter I'm actually wearing this product today on my cheeks as blush but because it's a shimmery product and I don't like blushes that are shimmery I like my highlighters to be somewhat shimmery but not my blushers so this has been a miss for me only because of the color choice but it's very pigmented and it's so creamy to touch but it's powder and it stays on my face for a long time and overall um, nothing to complain about this product this product seems to be a great product except that I have a color that I can't use as highlight so now on to some products that I was loving in November this is Diptyque's Eau Rose and this is a very pretty rose scented perfume it's very faint and light so if you want this scent to last all day long you do have to bring like a small little bottle of it and spray it throughout the day um, but I do like this at times uh, especially when I'm just working and because I work um, closely with people sometimes I don't want that strong perfume scent on me uh, so I I think this suits me good because the scent is very subtle I do like strongly scented perfumes sometimes but there are days that you just want very lightly natural rosy kind of scent and this does exactly that so this is a lip product I was using almost daily in November this is Dior's Diorific Golden Shock in number 007 Passion Shock and what's special about this lipstick is that you get two colors so you get this shimmery side and you get this um, almost matte like satin red color and I liked wearing this the shimmery side um, on the edges of my lips and the red inside but you can wear this in many many different ways you can mix the two colors on your lips or you can even choose to wear just the matte red color on your top lips and wear the shimmery on your bottom lips or the other way it's a fun product to have. two products that I think are worth mentioning is this coconut pack from Boutique BB it's a Korean brand and this I don't have the actual product left to show you guys. This is just an empty box. Um, but I remember I posted an Instagram picture of the product maybe uh, like two months ago because I was using this every day on my face for two months straight and I love this product. This is a face cleanser, but you can also use it as a face pack. Face pack meaning a face mask. So you have to foam it up and use it to clean your face and then after leave that foam on your face for a couple of minutes and it does extra stuff to your skin like it helps to exfoliate your skin, um, it helps to moisturize, it does bunches. So you have a full review of this product on my blog so if you guys are interested please check that the out. last product is this nail cuticle wrapping pack. I haven't been wearing nail polishes in the past couple of months because during summer I really damaged my nails by doing a lot of gel polish things and nail art and stuff like that so I wanted to give my nails uh, some break from nail polishes so I've been treating my nails to a lot of cuticle oils and all kinds of stuff like argan oil, grapeseed oil, that kind of stuff. And this is pretty much a mask for your fingers. So when you have this on, you can still use your smartphone. So you don't have to just sit there with this on and you can't do anything. You can still do stuff. And let me show you guys what this looks like. I'll put it on for you guys so that you can see. I have to rip it. So this helps to deeply moisturize your fingers, your cuticles, your nails, and the fact that you're only treating your fingers and not your entire hand because your fingertips are more drier uh, sometimes than the rest of your hand and you can still do work. You can still type, you can go on your phone, do all that stuff. So I really like this. So that is it for my December hits and misses. Um, I guess I had few missed products, but overall I've been trying a lot of new products that I've been really liking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please address it down below